So we're going to take a look at this um, Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while and we finally had one turn up. So, let's go take a look. So, comes quite nicely packaged. Um, open it and see what it looks like. Get it open. Destroy the box. See box contents. Getting started guide. We've got some window stickers. That's a good tab to pull it out. Okay, it's a lot heavier than I expected it to be. Um, Definitely. A sturdy piece of kit. On the front of this, we have the LCD display. The hard drive is behind this caddy here. Um, on the bottom, there's a rack mount dock, so it will fit in a 19 inch rack. The hard drive release. Um, on the rear of the unit, we have a power button, um, external PSU there's an RJ45 port which um, is PoE so it will power the device out of the box there's no external um, power unit with it there's a port for a flash card for a controller backup uh, and there's a USB C type expansion port on the other side with regard to the hard drive um, doesn't seem to want to release with my fingers. There we go. So let's give it a firm push in. Press the release catch and the hard drive will come out. It's upside down. This is a single uh, one terabyte hard drive. Um, this is not an SSD, it's just the spinner as it comes out of the box. Let's go ahead and pop that back in. Just tried to adjust the camera so we can get a better angle on this. So let's go ahead and power this up. So you can see the ubiquity light on the front. This white light that's flashing on the top should go solid white when it's ready to be configured. There we, do. there we go, don't know if you can see the uh, progress bar showing that the uh, device is loading. And there we go, seems to have loaded. Showing a download the app message on the front. Oh, no, it's come up with the IP address. Um, this does have uh, Bluetooth built into it as well, so you can download the app and configure it via a mobile to pair it and set it up that way. Um, or we can stick the IP address in and configure it through software. Um, it's a really clear display on that. I um, don't know if you can quite see that. I tried to adjust the camera so you can do that. Um, it's not particularly warm. So let's go ahead and log in and see if we can set it up. Let 
So let's go ahead and log in. What's the IP address of it? One, two, three. So, um, upon um, pointing the browser to the system and logging in, we have Unify Network set up, Unify Protect set up, or Manage Cloud Key. So we're going to manage the Cloud Key in this case. Now it's just to go ahead and sign in, which is UBNT, UBNT, I imagine. Yep. And straight away we're prompted to put in a new password. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, didn't work. You cannot set your new password to the default. <laughs> I tried to set my password to the uh, default password just for this demo. Let's go ahead and stick something else in. Um, so we can see the system name, the firmware, its IP address, um, the internet connection is active, Unify network. And Unify Protect Network. Uh, we can see the processor is a Qualcomm 64-bit 8 cores. We've got 3 gig of RAM. And we can see our um, single terabyte hard drive there. This EMMC storage, which is the internal storage that they have been saved on. Um, performance, CPU load, CPU temperature, memory. You can see our storage. Um, Controllers, so a Unify Network Controller, a Unify Protect Controller, and we can go ahead and set these up. I'm not actually going to do that in this video. Um, one, I don't have any cameras or anything spare to do it. I'm just testing this unit. Network, we can see data transferred, um, advanced network configuration. Allows us to change this to static, I imagine. Yes, it does. Uh, IP address, gateway, DNS servers. Uh, we'll leave that on DHCP. Fallback address, so if it doesn't pick a IP address up from the DHCP server, it will fall back to 192.168.1.30 by default. Um, again, fallback network mask. Settings, put the name, the time zone. Um, we'll change that to London, where we are. If I'm fine, London. Just apply those changes. Which is nice and quick. Um, hardware, we can do a factory reset. We can power the device off. Uh, we can do a reboot. Firmware, this one's up to date 1.1.6 as of um, November 2019. We can do a manual update. And it's allowing us to provide a URL or to upload a file to. Um, that's about as far as I'm going to go in this video, as I say, it was just, you know, I've literally just unboxed the device and I wanted to take a look at it to see what it was. i um, going to hook some cameras up to it in a future video and see how we go. Um, not say it does recommend, uh, well, say maximum of like 20 cameras that it will take. It's, yeah, not going to take that many cameras realistically. I'd use it for like five or six. Um, you probably need to change the hard drive. There's a hard drive uh, upgrade available to like five terabytes. You can basically just grab your own hard drive and shove it in there. Um, yeah, so we're kind of done. Oh, one thing I do want to mention. On this version of the Cloud Key, which is different over the uh, Gen 1, it has a battery backup. So if you power it off, um, the previous control... Uh, Cloud keys had issues with the database getting corrupt when it was unplugged because it would just power off and kill it straight away. This one does have a battery in it, apparently. Let's um, quick switch over to that. Let's unplug this and see what happens. Okay, so the power's gone. And it says shutting down in 3, 2, 1. Shutting down. And it's off, so it's done a safe shutdown. I guarantee it'll boot back up properly next time. 
I'd say that's as far as I'm going to go with this video. Um, I'll look at the cameras and connecting uh, access points and stuff to it in my next video. Thank you, I hope this was useful. And as always, the phone rings. If you do like the video, please hit the like button. Thank you.